welcome back everybody to Foreman Simulator 19 here on Spectacle Island 19. Almost, almost messed up. Almost said something else. I don't know what I said, but let's look and say something else. Folks, how y'all doing today? We are here getting some petrol and we're almost out of money. Uh, one, I had to show, uh, I had to do an update on the Phoenix here by 82 Studios. Um, it is quite different. We got a bull guard or what do you want to call it in the front here. Oh, that stupid train in real life. Ever fails. But anyway, yeah, this is the oh, 76,800 for that uh, load of propane. Well, it's 75. Ooh, okay. Well, anyway, we'll know. But, uh, yeah, we got us some new tires, new truck, and everything. We had to get rid of the one we had in order for the update to work. So this is a new Phoenix. Uh, all kind of customizations for it and stuff, folks. But go check out DJ Goham and uh, 82 Studio. Uh, DJ does a pretty good... Uh, <laughs> Pretty good uh, demonstration on the record part of it. That's all I gotta say. Right, wait, wait, wait. I, I want to have to get this truck uh, going on its own. We'll probably get Dan from 3D Outdoors and 3D Gaming to take it to. Um, where, oh, right here. Gold mine. Because we need to get our gold production. As you can see here, we're down to 3,000 liters. We got one full bar up there. Our cows are doing pretty good. And chickens are doing pretty good. And our sheep are doing pretty good. And don't worry, Dan. I did not mow the sheep. So I was just kidding about that. But it's a good idea to get some wool. Alright. Um, be right back. Alright, just to update y'all on something. Over there is the cow barn. There's a the little bridge that we go across. Our house is over there. Now I parked our disc here. And over here, you know, this is just a flat open area. And I decided to have a guys come out and put a barn, or not barn, but just a, just a shed down. So we have something that's long and open to keep our equipment dry. Um, even got lights and here's our planter that we got to plant beans and corn with as you can see it's kind of parked weird folks I didn't this is where I had it parked if I can get it back let me jump in here get it parked back like I had it now, I think I got another mod issue somewhere I had it parked straight like this here and uh, for some reason I can exit out the game and stuff, come back in. It's pushed over against the shed. And y'all probably are like, what is this thing? Y'all have seen this before? Uh, Dagwin uses it quite a bit. It's a potato washer. Yeah. But if it don't, potatoes in here and it goes down through there and it's got water that will be in it. And this little motor here turns this row cage. Just gets all the dirt off the potatoes. Potatoes comes out of the chute here. And uh, we have to have a trailer or something to put them in. And then there's one more other piece. I wanted this to go under here. This kind of like, you know. Oh. This piece here. Uh, will be sticking out like it is. But this thing would have been turned around and put in here. But I couldn't do it so but it's all right this is the water trigger where you put the water in this is where you load the potatoes and uh well i'm thinking about just dumping the potatoes out in here that we get picked up and that way we'll have a conveyor belt coming up here loading the potatoes in we'll have a uh, prior conveyor belt here going out to a potato sorter and the potato shoulder will give us pig food. So that's the plans I had on that. 
Uh, I do want to go in here while we're waiting on the truck to get there. Let's see. Be this. Oh, truck, sir. Uh, let's do this real quick. We're going to go over, um, come back down here to our ground. Folks, look at all the pink. We have pink all over the place. Three we don't have to worry about, and this half of six I don't have to worry about because we ain't got it planted yet. But four, five, one, two, and yeah. So we got to get a weeder. In other words, we're going to go in here. Uh, gold mine, transportation, uh, transporting here, windmill, and then we have a bunch of fertilizing contracts in here. So we're going to go ahead and complete these so we can have some money. So, that space bar? Yep. So I can just kind of look at those as I do them. Pause if y'all want to, but I got to get busy here. And as you can see, before I went in here, I had uh, 7,000. Now we have 90,000. So... 83,000 from contracts, folks. That is awesome. All right, here's our truck. Before we sell this propane, actually, since we got 90,000, I'm going to keep most of it for the... Uh, oh, don't hit the light pole like I did last time. I'm thinking about keeping most of this and just uh, using it for in here. And there we go. I need to park the uh, the road better. And it's emptying out. There's, there you go. As we can go in here, propane is full. I'm go ahead and shift this off. Uh, ain't too many people that comes through here, so. But um, as you can see here, uh, seventy-nine percent from being ready. This in here is. I can get on it. Uh, thousand liters it's a hundred percent and if we go into here uh oh this in here go over um oh a little bit more here oh no gold is nine thousand eighty one that was a little bit higher which it was going up like propane's going up here but propane the highest place is zone one. Let's go ahead and mark it. Yep, see right across here? We go out. That is zone one propane. So I'm thinking about selling half of the tank back to the this part of the gold mine because that's where we'll fix and take this. Let's go ahead and see what should be what nine nine thousand something that's going for uh nine thousand eighty one so a little over nine thousand dollars for us i think my math ain't too good but here we go we're fixing to find out yep nine thousand eighty one dollars good i will go ahead and sell this one over here but i'm not worried about that too much. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? We need some. Uh, our weeder is forty-five thousand, I believe, and we need some other stuff. So let me get this sold. I like just pulling through like this right here. That way we're out of road too. All right, this is gonna be a little slow. Okay, I tried to stop it at at uh, twenty thousand liters, but it, it got the best of it. Look inside of this, folks. Burger Burger One Niner. Here's Mr. Blue, the rubber duck. Oh, I can't. Can't say that. Alright, rest is. It's gonna be saved for this section of the gold mine because we got to have propane for it. So. Alright, I'll see y'all at the next project. Alright, I wasn't too for sure on this Massey Ferguson mower. It, it looks pretty good and stuff. But there's no uh, wind swapping or whatever you call it on it. It just mows, that's it. I paid 51000 for it. And I'm getting 51000 back. 
Now let's go back into uh, this here and I'll show y'all which one it was. Um, somewhere in here. And it's right here. Um, nine meters, you know, 3.2. That's going to get it. You know, just have something different. But I, I just don't know on that. And the John Deere, I don't think it does swapping either. And then we got all these other fine mowers. Um, these two are not a mod. So, I think it's one way over here. Way, way, way. Whoa. Uh, I got these here too, but as you can see, no swap. Uh, Morris cut grass with this version of mowing. Grass will not be left on the ground. You can remove corn stalks with this tool. Okay, so we can cut corn stalks with that. That's good to know. Um, that might be swap dropping don't know uh, I ain't really had a chance to try it out so um now this in here more cuts grass um, ta -ta 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 -ta, 301 so that goes with 301 and that is and super okay 10 meters I think this is the one bump that up oh, gotta go all right all right all right sorry about the interruption folks but i am back a couple hours later um, what am i kidding it's about six about five or six hours later folks this are our weeders um i like to get this in when we do our corn or beans since this is in rows and you see Right through there, it's got a gap in between. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six row. Yeah, that'd be right. See the three point, the little point sticking up on the very top? That's the center of your tractor, and there's two rows in between your tractor. So that'd be two, four, six, six row. Um, but we don't, we have wheat and it's broadcasted, so we need something that's got little tines like this. It's 49 miles per hour, but it don't go that fast. It goes fast, but not that fast. Um, 45,000. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even, let's see if I can go the other way. Whoa, what? What? <laughs> so 44.8 to low so it goes. It's, it's not going to go that fast. Tractor won't allow it. But I, I think we're going to keep it this uh, kind of metallic blue. I kind of like that blue. We're going to buy that, folks, for 45000 I already got the mower bought. Um, I don't know if I've done that in the last one or not. Or not last video. But a few minutes ago when I got interrupted by the phone call, which was five or six hours ago. Yeah, this blue's kind of busy. Um, this is one we got. You can see the little one right here. Uh, 3.1, and this one does have the uh, this little thing here, little thing. It makes it where you cut wide or you put in a swath. And I think I set it for 15 miles per hour. This should be the buddy to it. Got a look on the wings there. Yep, you can see it right there. That means you can uh, turn it to widespread or to swaths, and that, that's what we want. We do have this in here. That's 8.4. This is 10. I don't know what the difference is, uh, but I do not see anything where you can. Turn it to swaths. Is this going to be a widespread? Um, also, on this one, if you look, you got PTO in the front, and you got PTO in the back along with a hitch, so you can hook the two mowers together. Now, I don't have the money for this right now, 
but that's what we're going to get. We're going to start out with these two type of mowers. But folks, we also have to get a loader wagon because I just got this mower and we're going to get a loader wagon. Holy cow. 34,000. That is 35,000. 100,000. Ooh, these guys get on up here. See right now? No. 78,000. But we don't have a tractor to pull that right now. 30,000. Uh, no, nope, that's got a little thing on the side that picks up. There we go. We'll just use the lawn sweeper. I guess we're going to go with... Man. That's in 34. That's... Wait, wait, I ain't all the way over. Oh, 23,000, 34,000. I'll tell you what, I'm going to hope we, I don't make a boo-boo. I'm going to get to 80,000. And, uh, we'll up preset to 15 miles per hour. Because that's where our mower's at. Going once, going twice. So, to the big guy with the black hat and the blue shirt on. If y'all could see me, folks. Actually, I'm naked. No, no, I'm, I'm kidding, folks. I'm kidding. I'm not naked. I do have my shirt off, but no, all guys do that. Sitting there, cheer. All right. Now, we got to hurry up and get to our uh, job for today. Park him. Actually, I'm going to have him go ahead and go to field. I don't know if y'all can hear it train or not. It seems like it knows when I'm going to record. I'm going to go to field one. Don't go in the field, buddy. Just go to field one. And we're going to get this tractor. Since this one got a carry tires or skinnies, as everybody calls them, it's pretty much the, the weeder, the fertilizer, everything else. All right, he's got to go to field one also. Oh, wrong button. Uh oh, there we go. Uh, let's see, he's got he's got enough fuel. Go, no, no, why not pick one? Field one, buddy. There we go. Got thirteen thousand left. Our sheep are doing pretty good. Our chickens are doing. Yeah, so so. Or, or I filled the propane up, and uh, we got 15 liters of gold. And um, you can see our slurry are climbing pretty good. The cows need some straw, and I think we got straw over here. But I don't know if it will take um, shredded straw or not. Now I should ask Big Daddy that. Uh, I bet you anything we'll have to buy a shredder. I can't see. Oh, it's because I couldn't see. I almost hit the barn. I love the uh, track skid steers. But in real life, it's kind of hard to see. I know some people like, like uh, the first, I guess it's called first person. Uh, which, it, it, it's all right, but I just... I don't know. It, it, it's just it's different in real life. Uh, uh, tactical game, tactical gamer. I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name. I thought I had it wrote down here, but uh, don't. But uh, ask me what it was like for a real life farmer to play Farming Simulator 19. Well, uh oh, that's the light. I need the door. I hope this works, but I, I like it. it. It's pretty realistic, but I don't know. In real life, you just got more of you. It just—it's just, it's just like—I uh, guess I'm trying to say it's like claustrophobic. It, you're in, like in a tight space in the, on the game. I don't know. Hey, it, it did it, it did it, it did it. Y'all see that? All the straw across the floor. Um, wait a minute. It didn't do it. Or did it? Let's go up here. Cows. 
1,100 liters of uh, straw. So that would be right, right? 29,000. It'd be three, be four, 4,000 liters. Yeah, that'd be right. Now, I don't know if uh, this would count as a uh, being inside out of the weather you know we're on seasons so uh <laughs> i climb on top got in and another thing uh the pigs 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 we're there see this was our talking about claustrophobic i'm not claustrophobic uh but my mom is severely claustrophobic whoops Uh, our tractors are where they're supposed to be, but I want to do something real quick. And let's see here. Let me look at these real quick, folks, and I'll be right back. All right, folks, I read through these, and the way it shows, uh, this one is the mother breed. Uh, it grows very fast, and you know, but costs a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and go with, uh, I guess, four. 3000 4000 I'll put a little under $10,000. Ah, let's, yeah, let's confirm right there. Okay. Go over here. I'm going to give them some water real quick. And go ahead, my will go ahead and do this. And helicopter somewhere. Okay. All of them's got water. Um, help if I put that on. That's probably going to have to be blowed in, probably. Eh, I don't know. There's straw out here now. Let's go check. And Oh, yeah, I know they're bad. Okay, they do have straw and water. I just need some pig food. Which is no biggie. Uh, folks, oh, man, it's almost, let's see, 12 and 11, uh, 24, about 24 minutes, so I give a gate. Hmm. This is not what I had planned for. Um, where's my, oh, where's my bucket? There's a the tractor bucket but I don't see my bucket oh boy I hate to have to look for things maybe it's over this way I don't know if that would work or not I doubt it okay um oh they got about 2,000 something liters of wool now oh I see the bucket I see the bucket we're going to give the pigs some food and then we're going to uh, get our tractors because they're down there uh, at field one waiting on us. But I want to show you all this. Uh, you can come in here and raise this up. Now watch it. There we go. Chaff, straw, mix, grass, forge. Hey. Oh. Stupid me. Wrong silo. I was, uh, it's over there. Be right back. Okay, I believe it's this silo right here. Just put your bucket up right there. It's, you can see it says start filling. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, seeds, wood chips, fertilizer, lime, pig food. There we go. Which is only 1,250 liters. But it's a start, right? For four little pigs, they probably have to feed them again later to see them or something. I just need a bigger bucket for one. <gasps> oh, it spilled on the ground. Okay. So, they're full. Of everything. Okay. Uh, 
cows we might have to worry about tomorrow, but the pigs are doing good for four little pigs. And uh, hey, it's a start. Take us back, and I will meet y'all at field one. All right, folks, this is what I had planned, but this tractor does not have the horsepower for it. Now, we don't own part of this. I don't know if it'll work or not, but it's kind of getting around the edges. It's working now. Oh, I don't have that land. It should be about right here. What I'm trying to do is just gather up uh, some grass and stuff around the edge of our field so we can start filling our silo, a uh, silage silo or a chaff silo, whatever it's called. And uh, th that's why I wanted the mower. Um, we really don't have a grass field. Well, that's weird. left some lines back there. Okay, it is mowing the, the good stuff there. Picking it up. I like the textures on that. And plus we need to go around and clean up edges of our fields too and keep the you know end roads clean. It just helps for a better better looking place. Plus we need all the money we can get all this silage. Plus we can use digestate to uh, come on, little guy. Pick up, pick up, crawl. Oh, that was rough. Remind me not to do that again. Oh, put on the brakes. Down, on, on, already down. Boy, it goes fast when it wants to. Guess I got everything on. They show them it's filling. Alright, y'all seen this. This one I'm going to be doing off screen, folks. It, it's just going around trying to clean up around our fields and stuff and collecting the grass. And, uh, but what the main thing was is, uh, well, find it here. Here we go. Because if we go into here, go over to our fields, um, we got weeds. Now, we don't have them everywhere. Uh, like I said, three and half of six is not planted. What's in blue is not planted. And what's in green is growing. So I want to get field one, two, uh, that hat, the right half of six, and then come back and get four and the left half of five so uh, let's just go ahead and close this out because we won't need it no more and we need to turn the GPS on we're going to unfold this bad boy and try not to damage the wings Alright, we're going to control E twice. Pops up a little A on the tractor there. You drive about 15 meters. Hit A again, then hit, or not A. Uh, uh. Alt E is what I'm hitting. And then you want R, Alt R to adjust your, your, uh, to the width of your machine. Now, I'm going to try to go ahead and just do this whole thing. Let's see how fast this thing will actually weed. About 20. 21. I bet it had a long enough feel. It'll probably get up a little bit. But. Yeah, whoops. I hit the, I hit the tree. Go ahead and get this side over here. Um, but folks, yeah, uh, now we have a weeder. 
we have a mower kind of and a loading wagon and we can weed pretty fast that did get the weed didn't it yep it looks like it uh, let's see it came out there so the next one's right here See this this is what it looks like inside. Oh, doing 20. We'll be across here it's in no time. Why do I have a mirror that way? But this seat turns around or something? I have no idea. Alright, lift up. And a lot of farmers around here. They do it like this, then take off. It just they hit that GPS line as they're backing up, and that gets them straight, and they just take off. Now, let's go in here real quick. Um, I'm gonna go over here. We should be able to get everything weeded, and tomorrow we'll be planting corn and soybeans. And uh, just what I want to say is, yeah, I'm probably going to do most of this off screen. My throat stays dry. Here, give me something to drink. Mm. All right. Yep, they do just like that. Get locked on. Come to a stop. And then go. Oh, I was going to look at the uh, screen. That's what I was going to look at. Uh, as you can see, no weeds. Now, since I'm doing half, I'm going to go all the way down to the end on this through. And the rest of it, I'm going to do in spots. And I'm going to see if this side will have weeds in it again, since I run the reader across it by logistics or whatever you want to call it, it shouldn't have weeds in it when I make it through across the ends let's see yeah that's how I was going to do the spots right uh, there's a spot right here yep there's the weeds I know in real life it's kind of hard to do it this way, but so I'm gonna come. I need to be over a little bit further this through. I'm gonna let down. Oh, I see the weeds now. There we go. Well, folks, I, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I know kind of all over the place kind of like I am weeding I thought I saw some weeds there but I guess I didn't the one in front of me ah I see them up there I get down a little bit closer to see them and uh yeah that's what's well, called spot spot weeding or spot spraying if you want to spray Actually, a herbicide would probably be better with the uh, that special boom we got that just sprays where it needs to, to spray. And that looks like all of them set up one through of her. But folks, like I said, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to get to that thousand mark on my family members, so if y'all don't mind sharing me. And... Um, uh yeah and then hitting that if you're new hit that red button subscribe or become a family member as i should say and uh yeah folks uh check out my camera light my 
uh, can crusher. I started to say can crusher light. But uh, check out the links below. Check out all the YouTubers below. And um, I think I'm going to get a thumbnail before I go to the next screen. And folks, um, you know, I'm trying to say is I love each and every one of y'all. And I want to send a big, huge thank you to each and every one of y'all for helping me out by watching and sharing me with your friends and stuff like that. It, it's tremendous. Is that a word? I'm just going to get out and do it this way. But, um, I don't know what y'all think about right there. I don't know, from the front or from the back. It's just about right there. I always get back a little bit so I crop it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, man. He's going, oh, maybe I got him that time. Do I see the plane? Oh, Mr. Alien Jim. I really love the planes and the helicopters in this game. I can't catch them. Um, uh, I really like the helicopter. Yeah, look at our fields, folks. It's awesome. This is going to be a long video. I got to get off here, folks. Y'all. Ooh, look at my little trim lines I got going. That's pretty neat. But anyway, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day. Well, hang on. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching and all you do, folks. I really appreciate it. And now, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And I, Mr. Blue, will see y'all in the next video. Later.